Ocasio-Cortez in battle chief of staff, leaving over controversy. And let me tell you about the chief of staff, Barry. This guy was making some crazy statements, and it looks like he's up to no good. What do you think about this here, Barry? Yeah, the guy you're referring to, Jermaine, was the chief of staff that's run her campaign, mm -hmm. run her office, in charge of anything. His name is Shock Davardi. He is way, way, way left, okay? This is a guy that's being investigated for diverting, it looks like, over a million dollars out of one of her campaign funds to companies that he owned personally, and he put the money in his pocket. So there's Federal Election Commission investigations on a federal level into this guy um, for basically stealing. This is a guy that said, uh, let me quote this, he, he, he accused uh, Nancy Pelosi, who I'm not a big fan of, um, of being a weak leader and said that moderate Democrats like Nancy Pelosi are racists. He said, <laughs> he, this is a quote, she is hell-bent to do to black and brown people today what the old Southern Democrats did in the 40s. In other words, Nancy Pelosi is a racist. Democrats who are moderate and don't support the policies that he has put together for AOC are racist. I'm not talking about the old white guys running the Republican Party. I'm talking about the Democrat Party. Now keep in mind, Dr. Barty is running the office of a woman who's not a Democrat. She calls herself a socialist Democrat. She really ought to call herself a crazy communist slash Democrat because she caucuses with the Democrats. But as soon as the federal election investigation came out, he resigned that day, right? And he's going into private business with the million dollars he took from her campaign to run those two private companies that is going to allow him to profit personally. Uh, the guy may, may very well end up in prison and AOC is very indebted to this guy because he writes her policy. The crazier <laughs> The crazier he gets, the more press she gets. I don't know who she's going to get to replace him that's as big a nutball as the guy that's leaving because his ideas are so anti-American, so anti-capitalist, and so anti-Democrat party. He really believes that the Democrats that control the House of Representatives, for the most part, are old racists like the Southern Democrats of 70 years ago because why they disagreed with his policy for aoc therefore they're racist uh they love using the racist uh word so much barry i'm so tired of hearing uh the you know why don't they come up with something real barry like you know, hey, they why, can't, why can't they disagree right jermaine <laughs> they, they could just say okay she disagrees with us we disagree with her you know why that would be civil, that would be respectful, and that wouldn't get any press. It wouldn't right? get any press oh, at all. That's a horrible word. Racism is a horrible thing in this country, and we're doing our best to get away from it. We want people equal regardless of skin color, belief, religion, sexual preference, social mm -hmm. economic standing, and so on. But if you want to label somebody and you want people to go, oh, a congresswoman's office said he or she is a racist, all of a sudden people back up because <laughs> they don't want to be associated with a racist. So yeah. according to him and AOC, anyone that opposes their policy, like Nancy Pelosi, is by definition a racist. Fed uh, probing AOC's chief of staff. Now, is anything really going to come out of this? We know that the DOJ right now, um, the feds, the deep state, there's something wrong with those folks. Is something going to happen with uh, this here, or is, is this just a dog and pony show so that um, he can go ahead and go quietly? What's you going know, I, on here? I, I, I wish I knew. Um, 
not only did um, Chakrabarty vanish in a day, her official spokesperson, uh, a guy named Trent, that had done her press work and written her PR and so on, he vanished the same day as well. <laughs> and now, and now, he has been appointed to chair her reelection campaign. Oh wow! So they got these two people out of her office that are being looked into. I don't know where the investigation is. Uh, I know it was launched last week, and as a result, the two key people in her office are gone. Uh, if they did something wrong, there ought to be federal indictments, there ought to be fines, and I think it's going to stick to her because she's becoming increasingly, significantly unpopular in her own district with mm -hmm. her own constituency.